so the gingerbread man decided to run back home to Mrs. Popover's house and help her win the money at the county fair. On the way, he passed a farmer. Hello, Mr. Farmer. Hello there, gingerbread man. Where are you going? I'm going to the county fair. Ah, you look good enough to eat. Hey, stay here with me. No, thank you. Well, then I'll have to catch you. I've run away from a fat man, a strong man, and a thin man, and a lion. I can run away from you, too. Oh, you can, can you? Yes, I can. Run, run, as fast as you can. But you can't catch up with the gingerbread man. And the farmer took after the gingerbread man. The farmer ran fast, but the gingerbread man ran faster. And soon the farmer had to stop for rest. The gingerbread man kept running. Soon he passed a bear. Hello, Mr. Bear. Uh, hello there, gingerbread man. Where are you going? I'm going to the county fair. Mm, you look good enough to eat. Stay here with me. No, thank you. Then I'll have to catch you. I've run away from a fat man, and a strong man, and a thin man, and a lion, and a farmer. And I can run away from you, too. Oh, you can, can you? Yes, I can. Run, run, as fast as you can. But you can't catch up with the gingerbread man. Soon, he passed a wolf. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Uh, hello there, gingerbread man. Uh, where are you going? I'm going to the county fair. Uh, you look good enough to eat. Uh, stay here with me. No, thank you. Uh, then uh, I'll have to catch you. I've run away from a fat man and a strong man and a thin man and a lion and a farmer and a bear. And I can run away from you, too. Oh, you can, can you? Yes, I can. Run, run as fast as you can. Ha <laughs> ha, but you'll never catch up with the gingerbread man. And the wolf took after the gingerbread man. The wolf ran fast, but the gingerbread man ran faster. And soon the wolf had to stop and rest. The gingerbread man kept running, and soon he passed a fox. The fox was resting under a shady tree. He was reading a cookbook, and the book was open to the section marked gingerbread. Hello, Mr. Fox. Eh? What's that? I said, hello, Mr. Fox. What's that, little fella? I can't hear very well these days. Oh, I said, hello, Mr. Fox. Oh, hello. Where are you running? I'm running to the county fair. I have run away from a fat man and a strong man and a thin man and a lion and a farmer and a bear and a wolf. And I can run away from you, too. What's that? I can't hear you. Hey, come a little closer. All right, here I am. I said, I have run away from a fat man, and a strong man, and a thin man, and a lion, and a farmer, and a bear, and a wolf. And I can run away from you, too. I am afra afraid I, I, I still can't hear you very well. Come just a little closer. He here, next to my face. Now, now, what were you saying? I said, I have went, run away from a... Uh, hey! Suddenly, the fox opened up his mouth and gobbled down the gingerbread man. Hey, let me out! Let me out! Your running days are over, little gingerbread man. I'll save you for my dessert. <laughs> Wait, what's that noise? It's the hunters. They're coming this way. Over here. I saw the fox over here. Are you sure? Yes, come on. There he is. Fox! Stop, or we'll shoot. Never! Then take this! Ah! Uh, got me! Oh! Oh! Got me! Is this the end of the little fox? Let me out! Let me out! What's going on out there? Let me out! What's that noise? There's something inside the fox. Let's open him up and see. Uh, hold him. There. Thank you. A gingerbread man? Thank you. I, I've got to run. Run? Where to? To the county fair to help Mrs. Popover. I've run away from a fat man and a strong man and a thin man and a lion and a farmer and a bear and a wolf and I almost ran away from a fox. But now I've got to run to the county fair. Goodbye. And the gingerbread man ran down the road toward the county fair. Now the fair had already started. 
and the judging had begun. All the finest bakers for miles and miles around had brought their finest baking in hopes they could win the first prize and the money that went with it. And Mrs. Popover was among them. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen. See the greatest display of magnificent mouth-watering baking and caking ever to be seen in these parts. Step right up to the competition. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I just don't see how I can win. My wonderful gingerbread man has run away. You say he's run away, Mrs. Popover. Mr. Moneybags, I didn't see you come. What are you doing here? I just came to remind you, my dear, that this is the first of the month and your rent is due. But I can't pay it. Yeah, then you know the consequences. It's out into the street with you. There are plenty of people who will pay my price. <laughs> Step right up, ladies and gentlemen. The judging is about to begin. And to do the judging, we are honored to have with us His Royal Majesty, King Herkimer the 23rd. Hooray for King Herkimer the 23rd! Oh, oh, thank you, thank you, my loyal subjects. Uh, now we shall proceed to the food festivities. Uh, uh, what? Oh, oh. What have we here? The baking competition, your majesty. Oh, I love cakes and breads. <laughs> uh, shall we begin? Uh, let's see. What have we here? It's my own invention, your majesty. It's peanut butter pie. Peanut butter pie. How droll. How imaginative. Let me taste. Mmm. -mm. Quite good. Quite good. And what have we here? And here, and here. The king went down the long, long line of cakes and pies and other baking. And way down at the end of the line was Mrs. Popover. The king is coming to me. It's my turn. And I don't stand a chance of winning. And what have we here? This is Mrs. Popover. She is the most famous baker in these parts. Oh, Mrs. Popover, oh, I am very pleased to meet you. I've heard so much about you. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, thank you, sir. 